Hey guys, welcome to Cell Division 101. Thanks for joining me. Today we are going to talk about mitosis. And there is a lot to unpack here in order for you to understand the whole picture. So let's step back for a second and it'll help you understand the specifics of what mitosis is and why we have to do it. So first off, mitosis simply means splitting a nucleus. Splitting a nucleus. Well, what the heck is a nucleus? Well, a nucleus is in your cells. Your cells make up your body. You've got about 30 trillion cells that make up your body. And within the nucleus, you'll see all these crazy strands of DNA. So the nucleus contains your DNA. You may have heard DNA compared to an instruction manual. And it's an instruction manual on how to build your body. How to build your body. So all of the instructions on how to build your body are found within this DNA. Fun fact, every cell in your body besides your red blood cells has the exact same DNA on how to build your body. So in other words, every cell in your body has to have the entire instruction manual. That's kind of interesting. Well, that's a, this is a problem though, because over time, your cells have to divide so that you can grow and repair different tissues. So when you grow and repair those tissues, you need those cells to multiply. And each cell needs to have the entire package, the entire manual on how to build your body. Okay, so that presents a problem. Because if you were to stretch out all of the DNA inside of your nucleus of one cell, it would stretch about six feet long. So all the DNA can stretch out to six feet long. It's microscopic, but that's how far it can stretch. That's hard to get into both cells, right? So we've got to basically take that whole long strand of DNA, we've got to copy it, and then provide the new cell with that DNA, as well as the other cell as it divides with that whole thing of DNA. So how do we do it? Mitosis. Okay, so step back you have what's called chromosomes. Your DNA is organized into chromosomes. And I like to think of chromosomes as chapters of the instruction manual. So the chromosomes, they both start with CH. These are the chapters of your DNA. You have 23 pairs of chromosomes. So chromosome one, you have two of them. Chromosome two, you have two of them. That's what I mean by 23 pairs. So if I were to look inside of your cells, I would find, for example, chromosome 1, and I would look at them, and if they were condensed, they look like this. So you've got one from dad, chromosome 1 from dad, and you've got one chromosome 1 from mom. I said that chromosomes are chapters, but not only that, they are condensed regions of DNA. So if I were to unwind all of this DNA, it would stretch really far. So instead, we package our DNA in chromosomes, okay? And that's when you look at mitosis, you see chromosomes, okay? But there's another step we need to get there. Why the heck are they organized in these tightly wrapped chromosomes? Well, I mentioned before that when the cell divides into two cells, we need to basically give this cell all the DNA and this cell all the DNA. The reason we put them into chromosomes is because it tightens it up, packages it really closely so we can pass it on easily to the next cell. Think of the packaging. Have you ever unwrapped a package, right, with a big Christmas tree in it? And you unpack it and you decorate the tree. And then you try after Christmas to put the tree back in and you're stuffing it, stuffing it into the box, right? Because it was really well packaged. Well, chromosomes are just those well packaged bits of DNA. And again, you get one from dad, one from mom. Now, let's say the cell wants to divide. Okay, so we want to go from one cell to two cells. Let's talk about mitosis. First off, you will see that a normal nucleus will have all the DNA wrapped and widened out. And for this uh, situation, I'm only going to talk about chromosome 1. Again, you'd have 23 pairs of these. So this is just an example. And the first thing that has to happen is DNA must be replicated. Okay, so whenever you see prophase of mitosis, you will see basically two chromosome 1s from dad and two chromosome 1s from mom. That's different because normally you would just have one from dad, one from mom, but you have to replicate them during the cell cycle, okay? And they'll condense into those chromosomes. So now you've got one from, or two chromosome ones from dad, two chromosome ones from mom, okay? So you have all the DNA you need to. So let's write that. First thing that needs to happen is DNA needs to replicate, and it also needs to condense into those chromosomes. 
Okay, and then you will see that it will look like this. Well, prophase is when all of that DNA has been wrapped up into the chromosomes, into the chapters, and now you can see the two distinct sections, okay? Prophase is DNA condenses. Metaphase has an M. This stands for middle, okay? At this point in mitosis, the chromosomes that have already replicated, so we've got two from mom, two from dad, uh, because they replicated, and they are going to be aligned at the middle, okay? It's called the equatorial plate, like the equator of the Earth, okay? The equatorial plate. They align in the middle. Right after that, the spindle fibers are going to start pulling them to opposite ends of the cell. Once they separate, it's considered anaphase. It kind of looks like two letters of A there, which is how I remember anaphase. And then finally, telophase is when, look at what's happening. The chromosomes are starting to unwind. They're starting to uncondense and look like what we had at the beginning, right? And they're also splitting. So they're severing the cytoplasm between the two of them so that eventually we form two identical daughter cells, okay? So let's review that real quick. Mitosis, separating out the nucleus. The nucleus contains all the genetic information for this cell to function. We need to copy it, okay? So we replicate the DNA. We wind it up on the chromosomes, we package them up really nicely, and now we go through mitosis, remember PMAT, in order to separate those nuclei into two separate cells, okay? So this was Mitosis 101. I hope this was helpful. Please drop any questions or comments below and have a wonderful day.